briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1981 case of Stegald v. United States, the Supreme Court of the United States focused on the protection of individuals' Fourth Amendment rights against unreasonable searches and seizures when police make an arrest in a third party's home. Law enforcement officers must have a search warrant unless there are exigent circumstances or consent, supported by probable cause from a detached magistrate to search a third party's home when making an arrest. The case was prompted by a Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, agent who conducted a search of a third party's home without a warrant and found evidence that led to the arrest and indictment of Gary Stegald. The DEA agent had received a tip that Ricky Lyons, a federal fugitive, could be found at the third party's home. Although agents did not find Lyons, they discovered drugs and incriminating evidence against Stegald, who was later arrested and indicted on drug charges. Stegald argued that his Fourth Amendment rights were violated. The Supreme Court ultimately ruled that law enforcement officers cannot search for the subject of an arrest warrant in the home of a third party without first obtaining a search warrant, unless there are exigent circumstances or consent. In this case, the court held that evidence from the unlawful search was inadmissible and reversed the government's lower court judgment against Stegald. The court's decision emphasized the need for a search warrant to enter a third party's home, barring exigent circumstances or consent in order to uphold citizens' privacy rights and protect them from unreasonable government intrusion. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.